Um, and um, you know, clearly you're 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 quite an activist um, locally <laughs> in Tower Hamlets. And I just wondered if you could just tell us really about the East London Mosque and and, and what it's doing in terms of community engagement. Uh, not just within Tower Hamlets, but uh, it, it covers a wider area than that. Just give us a sense of uh, of people that haven't visited it, Sophia. What's what, yeah, what goes on there? You know, well, first of all, um, I'd like to start with a warm welcome to the mosque when you're in Tower Hamlets, or at least then do come and visit us. Um, so Great. yeah, um, so I'm the head of programs and the Mariam Centre, which is the wholly dedicated women's area um, of the mosque, which is uh, it's a building in itself. Um, and so I work across the board. I manage the projects of the whole mosque um, and set a program. But part of not just my day job, my kind of activism it has been a long-standing one where I've worked for women's um, groups in the past. So 17 years of a, I was in a women's only centre and uh, women's development, empowerment, leadership. That's kind of my background. Um, but in all of this, you know, the activism work came for thriving for justice, you know, justice for women, justice for women's rights, and then uh, justice for the community. So that kind of leads on to projects that I've kind of created or, or worked with that um, enables people to have those platforms where, you know, we educate, we inspire and we serve. That's our mission statement as well. So this on a mosque, it's been around since 1910. Not many people know that we've got long history. So it, it, from when the trust was formed in 1910, um, it was uh, under the empire. So um, that Muslims who settled here or um, came to work across the Laskas were the and, and students who had come, there was there to be a space of prayer. Um, and, you know, the centres evolved um, over the years. So the London Muslim Centre was born out of activism work of uh, the whole community coming together. This is the Muslims, Jewish community, um, the, the Christian community, the churches, synagogue schools, everyone coming together to... Um, you know, uh, fight for this land uh, from being development uh, land for luxury flats to being a community hub. So the London Muslim Centre, which is the East, a part of the East London Mosque, is the addition which um, is a all inclusive and, and and is the largest kind of centre Muslim centre in Eastern Europe and. Um, it's certainly the busiest one as well. Um, yeah, you know, as you saw, we've we've got extension as well. We're still trying to accommodate not just the congregation, but all the other facilities and things that people want to work with us with. So I'll just name a few of the work that we do. I mean, we've got two schools here: a secondary school and a primary school, which is a um, a curriculum-based school. But um, it's not all about. Islamic education, it's about the greater good and, uh, and justice work that we do. So a lot of the work that we do is with Citizens UK around housing, the living wage campaign, which everybody knows about, uh, and localised campaigns like the housing campaign, climate change, migrant support. And we respond to the kind of needs of the community when they arise. Um, and hence why we've got an elderly project um, to combat loneliness. You know, we were talking about this. We have uh, an aging, a young population who are now obviously working and social mobility is very much needed, but it means that the elderly community are then left behind. So we engage with them through doing activities and uh, health awareness. Um, this is for men and women. Um, we've just finished a climate leadership program uh, for women um, just to kind of get them to take some initiative but in terms of looking after the environment and connecting with our faith um, and there's a lot in our Islamic faith in terms of our responsibility. Um, mental health is always prevalent where you've got poverty and housing and other uh, poor health outcomes and um, we've found that counselling um, in the mainstream is not always culturally sensitive and people don't have the trust to go there. So counselling is one of our fla flagship project that we provide, not just for the women, but for men and couples as well. Um, there's so many projects I uh, could be here all day, but 
um, one of the other kind of groundbreaking things that we do in terms of bringing people together and uh, um, kind of endorsing this um, need to to get to know each other, which breaks all the kind of um, uh, blocks and walls, um, is the CPD, which is CPD um, Islam Awareness and Cultural Diversity course. So that really is a deep dive into um, what is culture and, and culture is different for different um, heritages that we um, that we accommodate here and and even within the faith there are some nuances that needs to be understood and explained and we offer this to everyone really uh, mainly professionals who work, are working in this borough or um, other boroughs as well so people sign up to this and they get a professional certificate of attendance and it's not just about the certificate, it's that engagement. You know, we feel proud that we're engaging with um, the, the greater community and and that we're, um, you know, uh, bringing people together and having a better understanding. That helps our work, you know, locally and nationally as well. And it breaks down some of the stigmas that are out there. And unfortunately, you know, we know what's happening out there in the world and all those tensions always find it's, it's kind of focused to the Islam Mosque. So the media always um, comes to see what our opinions, what other community, especially the faith-based communities response. Um, at the moment, we obviously naturally have tensions in the community. And I represent the mosque on various uh, forums, um, the No Place for Hate, the Attention Monitoring Group. But um, one of the, th the pieces of work that I really take pride in is um, just also being recently um, uh, voted in as the chair of the Town's Interfaith Forum. And this forum I've been in for the last 10 years, ever since I've started in the mosque, um, purely because of the, the good work and, and the, the way we navigate our, our community conversations, if you like, um, to ensure that we, 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 actually, we don't talk about scripture, uh, hardly, but actually we bring out everything from everyone's faith groups and um, which is the common good you know to to serve people and we share that information by going on if you like a road show so every single um, me uh, meeting is at a different venue a venue that's providing a service for a community so we give them that shout out as well as you know we invite people to talk about the great work so that way we're connecting people for the greater good. So we just had the cost of living crisis um, uh, talk and we, we, we've had stalls from the fire brigade because it was pertinent to, to have them, you know, with uh, the cost of living, people are, are actually, you know, really um, doing all, uh, unsafe things to save money and, 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 and hence we've been having lots of house fires, etc. cetera. Um, so just bringing people together and, and, and really trying to, save lives, um, save people's mental health, and actually um, really um, bring about uh, meaningful relationships. And one of the things that even in this tension, and I was saying you to Mark as well, we, we didn't stop. You know, we, we were shoulder to shoulder with our Jewish uh, partners and we, we carried on. And that's really important for our communities and, uh, and, and, and the greater the, the wider world to see actually you know like joe said there's lots that brings us together and not um and we should strive um to make sure that they don't divide us because it's really ugly um and and when we work with the police and, and we hear the stats that are these are real issues racism islamophobia anti-semitism we shouldn't have to live in a society like that. So a lot of my activism is around raising awareness. You know, um, the Hate Crime Month, we did a lot of awareness around um, hate crime. Uh, it's underreported by Muslim women. Um, and we look at the barriers to that. Um, and we try to empower people through giving them the, the education and, and signposting them and supporting them as well. So... Um, I think I covered nearly everything. Fantastic. Um, yeah. Can I just ask, so, Sophia? Yeah. yeah, can I just ask, in terms of the visits, can, can people get in touch with you and just organise visits or project yeah. visits? Maybe we could do a, 
a more organize a more large scale one a, a oh, group thing yeah we would How love to accommodate yeah we would love to accommodate you we've got a visit um email so visits at london muslim center but um yeah. you could email me and uh, i could forward that and they will um you know sort it out in the timetable and, and definitely you get welcome similarly if you want to join the the course um i want to know more about its courses at london muslim center okay. i could send those to you um, please do right yeah. if you want when does it, put, have you got set dates when those courses start or? we we have we are planning some set dates at the moment um uh, i have to say um the Sundan Health Foundation has been a bit greedy, yeah, I'm really but we've been um, in partnership with them and they've they've signed up 100 of their uh, staff, that psychologists, occupation therapists, nurses, um, which is brilliant. Um, we do offer a free one, which I'd love to invite you guys to in Interfaith Week as well. So I'll give more information about that. Um, so you don't have to pay but yeah. i mean um i think that'd be oh we could accommodate something i'm sure um uh, and we could find some dates that we could give you as an option um that'd be really nice um to, to have everyone from this forum um and, and really you know um you know people spending the the whole day you know breaking bread with us and having chatting chatting to us really breaks a lot of barriers we've got the london fire brigade um their teams as well, you know, recently they the report was quite damning that they're institutionally racist. So they've reached out to us and uh, and I remember, you know, some people come saying, what, you know, why, why are we in a mosque? What's that got to do with anything? And by the time they spent the day with us and they realise, you know, Muslim women can talk and why they dress up, you know, breaking a lot of misconceptions, you know, we've got some really great friendships um and i'm part of their interface for um their community forum similarly counter terrorism police officers we've trained them since seven seven i guess you know um and, and i could say this quite confidently they ditched their own training um to come to ours and so we've got a contract where you know they send people because it's the lived experience um and having a better understanding and and it's a safe space to have that as well um so it's really helped you know really um coin together um the community tensions really um, uh, around muslim and islamophobia and and, and muslim being the uh, uh, muslim faith and uh, muslim uh, leaders and imams being the other you know and um and our work's not done we still continue to strive for that as well um for a, a better community and a better world i guess 